Now what you think, Ken? I'm fine. <laughs> As darkness fell, we pulled into a petrol station. And in the shop, we found a bit more than Kit Kats and pies. Oh, wait a minute. Caramelised cocaine. Now, that's something you don't see in every motorway service station. Wow. You take it and then you talk for hours. Let's have that. In fact, the sweet is made from coca leaves, which are legal and used by locals to ward off the effects of altitude sickness. Look, Hammond found them very Moorish. They're nice, they're caramelised. I've had about six. Luckily, this had no effect at all. All the camper gear and everything, and get there, and then when you got there, the journey was over, and this is before the M5 was done, and there was, like, a high bit and a low bit, and we always used to say, is this the high-low bit? And Mum and Dad would say, yeah, or no, if it wasn't, and then we knew how far it was to go to Western. We used to have to go through Bristol, which I always thought was a bit scruffy. The next morning, we woke on the staggeringly beautiful Bolivian High Plains. That's right, we couldn't see any of this in the dark, but it's absolutely breathtaking. Look at it. It's taken all my breath away. There's no breath to take away. We're at 14,000 feet, according to your gizmo. 14,000? 14, uh, 14,006 feet. What's that? This measures your sats. On casualty, they always do this. Somebody gets wheeled in, they put one of these on their finger, and I think it's something to do with how much oxygen there is in your red blood cells. Because it's always, if it's less than 98 or 99, you've had it. And Tina Hobley comes. What's yours? 87. That's less. Much so less. Great. Where's Tina Hobley then? Do you want to just try yours? I bet you can't get it to go less than 87. That's how ill I am. 89. 89? Well, you're, you're nearly dead. I am dead. 88, I'm not much better. If you went into a doctor's surgery in England with sats of 88, they'd put you in hospital. 84. In fact, the only thing in a dodgier state than me were the modifications on my car. What's happened? I broke my front right spring, completely clean. Sheared it off both ends. You're joking. Bloody hell, fire. Yeah. So that is supposed to be connected to that? Yep, and it snapped clean off. While trying to mend the modified suspension, bit more, bit more. there was another problem. Your prop shaft fell off. Dandelier. What? Your prop shaft just fell off. Since there was no AA to call, it took us all morning to get it fixed. <coughs> but eventually, we were off. <laughs> <laughs>